Right, um, I'll eat chaps, chapettes. I'm back in um, Howard Forest again, like I said I would be on my last camp. I've um, had a little hike about, trying to find somewhere with a decent view. I found somewhere um, as best as I can. It's about half two in the afternoon, so I want to get um, pitched up before, just pitched up early enough, you know what I mean, so I can enjoy the, enjoy the afternoon. I'll show the view in a minute. I'm going to basically um, head up there, about 100 metres up that track, just into the tree line, and I found a spot um, to uh, put my tarp up, because I'm just camping under a tarp the night. And I can hear a truck, and, uh, a truck as well. So I think, um, right, I'm just going to sit here and wait for it to go past. So aye, that was a truck and um, worker there. Just drove past us, gave us a wave, so happy days, you know. I'm obviously not a knacker. I hope I'm not anyway. Anyway, um, I'm going to find my spot. So if you want to grab a coffee or a beer, sit back and enjoy the video. Thanks for watching, guys. But this is the view I've got from up here. See Rayleigh's right over there on the horizon. But yeah, this is where I'm going to sit later on. Um, see that tree line up there? I'm just going into there, about there. And I'll come back down here later on, have me beers and that. It's just a shame I didn't bring a seat. This would have been a good seat, this. Right, catches in a bit. Right, here's the little spot I found here. There's a flat spot there. It all depends whether I can get my tarp up um, in position though. There's another flat spot there, plenty of sunshine. So we'll get a few stars here tonight if there's any out. Right, there's my backpack. I think um, I'm going to unpack my stuff and then have a little um, wander along that road because I think I've lost my hat and I'm gonna go back and get it. It'll just bog us if I don't. Me joy finding my hat. Uh, never mind. Onwards and upwards. <laughs> Wasted about 15 minutes there. Um, but like I say, at least I've had a look. I wasn't there. I got out the car once for a pee. My, my hat was on my lap. So I thought I might have been there. Might even be in my backpack still, I don't know. But uh, it's on your heart. It's not the end of the world, is it? Right. We're going to go into there and set the camp up. See you in a bit. Gotta watch your footing in uh, this kind of turf, like. It's sprain an ankle pretty easy. <coughs> I'm about um, 10 foot in that tree line. You might be able to see the carrier bag there. Right. Let's see if we can set the nice tarp up. Right, there's the setup. <clears throat> it was a bit challenging. I've used two bungees extended to the middle of that one. And I've used um, paracord from that tree to that tree. Because I, was, I haven't had a bungee long enough, I've had to attach it there. 
and dig a big stake into the into the ground. That's about a foot and a half into the ground, so that's going nowhere. Um, it's a little bit thin there, but it's going to hold. It's just an old bungee, that's all. I've done the same again for this. It's running thin and all, isn't it? Hope it doesn't snap tonight. But there we go. I've done the same there. There's nothing to bind it onto. And obviously there's no trees over that way, so I've had to use a stake again. And for the two corners, I've just put a couple of sticks in. I've got pegs, but these sticks are better because they're going down so deep with the um with the ground that we're in. And there you go, there's a peg there. And I'm gonna use this stick just to give it a, a little bit of room inside. But here's um how it's looking. It's very, very low profile. Because we're we're not too far away from the logging road, so I don't want to be visible when he's uh, when they're driving past. But there we're gone. Nice little shelter. I prefer the low um, the low tops. I always see people setting them up really high, and I think um, well, if it rains, um, it's no good, is it? But this kind of tarp would basically guarantee um, full weather protection. Right, let's get this stake up. Where am I going to put it? Eh? I was thinking about here, get it on there so it doesn't doesn't wreck me tarp. Right. There we go. Yeah, see that? Plenty of room now. So I'm going to be uh, sleeping that way. Um, and yeah, there's the tarp set up. So I'm going to get some kit in. And unpack um, because it's been a little bit cold the last couple of nights and there's a little bit uh, snow around here unmelted the, clies are, the skies are clear it's a beautiful day it's not that cold but I think it's gonna be pretty Baltic here tonight um, so just for the crack I brought out a grade one uh, British Army Arctic sleeping bag I'm going to put it in the bivvy bag and uh, put it under there. Uh, if there's anyone out there that's wanting to go camping and like needs uh, some cheap effective gear, this sleeping bag here and this bivvy bag and this tarp is basically all you need to get started. It's good solid kit as well. Um, it's just a bit heavy. I'm looking for a um, ultra light sleeping bag, and I mean ultra light. Um, talking less than a kilogram. That's minus 15. You know, I like the comfort ratings minus 15. Something to match what I usually use, but I needed ultra light because. Um, I didn't half uh, sweat out my back end on that last camp. Like, it was great and I enjoyed it and I'll do it again. But I would just appreciate a sleeping bag that weighs less than two kilogram, you know what I mean? So if you've got any pointers, um, campers, please comment because um, I need your advice. Thanks. And it's not very often Daz Wild Outdoors asks for advice. Nah, I'm just joking. But we'll see how this uh, how this um, bag does tonight. We've got uh, if you're watching Gary, still got your name on this sleeping bag, mate. Lance Corporal Wilkinson, zero nine four. Good bag. I still think I owe you a tenner for it, didn't I? Charge us twenty quid, which was a steal. And, um, I'm not sure whether I paid them back or not. Hmm. I think I did. I sold some pictures for them at the Newcastle um, 
United fan shop. And I think he knocked the deck off then, I think. I'm not sure. But anyway, I'm just waffling and this has got no to do with wild camping, has it? Mm. Other than the fact he sold us the sleeping bag. Sort of gives a bit backstory on it. I won't be using my sleeping bag liner tonight either because um, I haven't got the little uh, piss machine out with us today. Right, I've just augmented it a little bit. Ideally, if I had a, um, enough paracord, I could raise it up a height so I wouldn't have to use all these props. But I've improved it a little bit better. Don't think it's going to rain, but if it does, It'll just roll down that way. Now it'll, the fort would have collected in the middle there. Um, but there we go. I've zipped the bivvy bag up so no creepy crawlies get in. I've just used a couple of these, a um, couple of these tarp poles. Just to give a bit there. Uh, it's not much of a view, but at least I'm not uh, cocooned inside this, you know like that side there but this here is a nice little shelter <clears throat> all the protection you need now we're gone I'll just um, unpack some stuff now all this carnage yeah as I was saying um, there is snow up here. It's probably off last night. I don't know if you can see that. I've just spotted that there. Must be a massive, massive fire. Over there. Reet on there, tree line there. Just there. Must be the loggers burning stuff off. It's a bit too big for a campfire that like. Just a bit. <laughs> Not a bad little spot, but as you can see, just just there's the trucking road. So I'm pretty calmed up here. I should be alright. Light nights, mate. Love it. Food pond time. As usual, I brought out far too much food for one night. I've had my breakfast, well Greg's sandwich and a coffee um, and I had a pasty and a uh, protein shake at dinner time. I initially just brought these out, um, army beans and sausages, chicken tikka and rice. These wet foods are good, it's just dry foods I'm not a fan of. That, and I was planning to have that with um, in a tuna. I don't know where it is at the minute. One second. There's the tuna. So I'm gonna have, well if I do I'm gonna have this. I think it'll go nice with this, um, with that. Got that for 50p. There's a few of them on offer so when I get back I think I'm gonna buy them. There's about 10 of them there, may as well. I saw, anyway, that's a meal there, yeah, okay, that's a meal obviously, so is that, that's a snack, I've got some um, frozen vegetable soup, I'm going to eat that now, um, for later, I've got some funyuns, pack of those, funyuns, and I got some um, magical strawberry jammy dodgers. Whoa, no nasty stuff, just magic. We all love magic, right? Um, okay, we've got them as well. Self-explanatory. Also, for later on, I've got some of these desperados. Mm -hmm. I had one the other night, 
and it went down like pop so I was like mm, I'm gonna get some of these next time I'm out right there you go food pouring over a nice little touch for later we've got uh, got the uko hanging on a bungee lovely picturesque view eh? That bit's the trucking road, but there's only been one truck um, pass in the last two hours. And he gave us a wave as well, so I was on the road as well, like I wasn't here. But I look at this, proper little oasis of a wild camping spot in it. Just this little bit here, before it gets into all that thick overgrowth. You put your eyes out there if you went there uh, on a night like. This place is ace. All that wood there. All of that wood. I'll get some logs from over there later as well. Great, I'm gonna um, have my soup now. It's getting there. It's like slush now. Um. If you're sleeping in a tarp, if you're new to it, get yourself a um, bivvy bag as well, put your sleeping bag inside it, just in case if there's any rain coming in on an angle, you don't get your sleeping bag, um, don't get either your feet or your head soaking wet. That's why I keep um, low profile tarps as well, just in case of that, it's like better coverage. So if you've just started, get the basics, like kit-wise and stuff, um, and you'll learn the most just going out yourself and knowing what you're short, what you need next time, that kind of thing, you know. That's the best way to learn. There must be a, um, like a bite in the air tonight, like last night. So I think it's going to be a bit nippy tonight, but um, I've got my long johns on. Not that they'll keep us um, toasty like. Um, I've got two t-shirts on, a jacket, this, and I've got a, um, a softy jacket later on to put underneath this to uh, keep us warm. And because I've lost my hat, I'm going to have to wear my balaclava and look like a, like a commando or bank robber later on. This is starting to get a bit better now. There's still a couple of hard bits at the bottom, so it's not quite defrosted yet, like. But that's going to be a canny little, um, that'll warm us up a bit. That'll fill us up for a while. Just homemade vegetable soup. Brought out of the freezer. That's perfect for camping. It's more like a broth really yum yum wholesome wholesome food that's nice I've got a bun with it Warburton's Yeah, some dipsies going on here, like. Would have been nice buttered. Better make your own food and freeze it. All I can hear is that little bird. <clears throat> Nothing else. <clears throat> you hear it when you. You get up here, you get out the car and it's like you've come from a built up area with like grey noise everywhere. You get in your car and then you step out into a place like this and it's like amazing.
it's 25 to 5 and it's half time already I'm starting to get a bit nippy now like it's a little bit of a breeze mm -hmm. it's potentially could get chilly you lose all your heat through your head so I'm going to hide this on I'm not going to wear it like that until later on for now I just turned into a hat jobs are good one. I wasn't going to bring this light I'm pleased I did after I lost me um, black beanie there the bum of that likes so it was a nice one but uh Right, I think I'll have a coffee. Now everything's uh, packed away and I've had something to eat. And there's my um, big pick. All uh, tucked up underneath there. There's my pillar for later. Let's us side down that red pillar like. If stealth was the game. Right, I'm gonna have a coffee. Can a gun ring? This should be better than the last one. Let's see how these differ at um, Nest Cafe. But uh, you can't go wrong, like £1.10 for 12 of these. I seen a long bungee that I had, uh, spare, and I seen that uh, little overhanging bendy branch there. And what I've done, I've just attached it to that, and the tension of this, it's like quite bendy, so it's um, just keeping that up there, so there's no need for the stick inside now. So that's a proper little shelter now. All the water will drain down there if it rains, but like I said, it's not forecast for rain, so happy days but I problem solved sorted I'm just lucky I brought enough bungees cool and as you can see there loads of headspace cool very stealthy that isn't it but that's the view from the road more or less if I go back about 20 meters but um that's certainly not going to catch your eye if you're driving past. Custy. Cheers. There's the seat. And this is the view. Isn't it great? Feel the heat on the sun now. Like 
at that tree line there. There's one slightly above it. That tree line above it, about there, is where I done that um, top camp a few weeks ago. Exactly that spot. Railies is over there. I don't know if you can see the uh, masts like. But there's a pillbox there. Done a wild camp there before as well. That's a few mile away. guarantee those two goose that flew across the, um, the camera there came from that direction um, and I'm there's, there's like a it's quite a large pond it's called Little, Little Lau if you want to check it out on Google Maps you'll find that um, moi has um, Google mapped it I was the first one to do it. I'm not sure if anyone else has. Um, it's because if you can see all this behind us, it's probably about half a mile through that kind of um, turf, you know. So I don't think it's visited that much unless anyone knows uh, an alternative spot. But I just figured that because it wasn't on Google Maps, you know. Back at, uh, back at base. Fingers are, whoa, fingers are numb. Like proper red. Sun's just set. And it's getting kind of cold. There's like frost and stuff uh, being here all day. So I don't know, it just must be uh, one of them places the sun doesn't get to. And uh, I'm starting to get really, it's getting a bit nippy, my fingers are numb, so I might uh, make a little fire, and I'll get my gloves on. Softy jacket, gloves.
thin that bungee like. Time for some new ones. I've had a good run though. About four or five years. I still hear them goose. Probably the same too. It's awesome hearing them through the forest like just echoes. Yeah, the sun's gone down now, so it's probably about half seven. I don't know. I'd a guess I would say I. I'm always check on the the old radio. Heard that goose.
Right, I've got me back with Good morning peeps, it's um, half six, my batteries on my GoPro's ran out, um, so I'm just recording on this phone at the minute. I think I got to sleep about one, very quiet last night like as it usually is. Um, what I'm going to do now is uh, skip brekkie, pack up, it's midweek. And um, I want to try and avoid the forest workers, so I'll get a bacon sandwich from a coffee somewhere. So um, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to pack up on that and skedaddle. Yeah, and just to mention this uh, sleeping bag kept me really toasty. Like, it outperformed the um, Softy Elite 4 snug pack. Call it the bomb. There's one name for it. But uh, kept me really warm. So I highly recommend them. Right, time to pack up. <laughs> yeah, so um I'm just gonna pack up and um get back the car and get back. It's been a great night here and I'm sure I'll be back. It's like a little oasis it is. We've got the sunset over there. Um, I'll show you that in a second, but for now, I'm just gonna stop blabbing and start uh, packing up.